Good morning everyone. Welcome to the class of microwave and radar engineering. In the last lecture we have discussed about the devices, microwave devices. In the We have discussed about the T-junctions and the S-parameters and T-junction in the last lecture we have discussed about the H, H plane T junction. Now in the today's lecture we will discuss about the waveguide which is of which is magic T and this magic T is a combination of E, e plane T and H plane T and uh, means it is a combination of what E plane T and H plane T that is why it is also known as the E H plane T junction where have a it is a four port device and is a combination of E plane and H plane T junction. So, now see we know that what is E plane junction? E plane junction is three port device and H plane junction is also a, is also a three port device. So, in combination of E plane and H plane, we will get the four port device and this four port device is look like this one. that is a E plane junction. So, E at H plane, if I, if you look into this one, this is port number 1, this is port number 2 and this one is port number 3 and this one is port number 4. Now, see, if you remove this one, this will be what? E plane T and if you remove this one, this will be what? H plane T. So, it is a combination of E and H plane T. So, you will see this one is the figure of magic T that is this is port number 1 same collinear arms that is port number 2 port number 3 is this one and this one is the port number 4 and this one is what E, e arm and this one is what H arm. So, it is have a several interesting characteristics or interesting features like if two waves of equal equal magnitude and phase are fed into a collinear arm, then the output will be 0 at the E plane arm and additive at the H plane arm. It means that if two waves of same amplitude and same phase will be provided to port number 1 and port number 2 input, then at port number 3 output at port number 3 that is at E plane this is E plane will be 0 and output at H arm is will be equal to what sum of P1 plus me P2 P1 plus me P2 clear. Now, second point is if two waves of equal magnitude but opposite phase are fed into the collinear arms, then the output will be additive at E plane and 0 will be at the H plane. Means if then output at 
आउटपुट एट पी थ्री विल बी वट पी वन एंड पी टू एंड आउटपुट एट पी फोर और एच आम विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो इफ वट पी वन ऑफ पी वन एंड पी टू आर इक्वल बट ऑफ ऑपोजिट फेस क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज वट इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर यू विल सी डेट द रेक्टेंगुलर स्लॉट्स आर कट अलॉन्ग द विथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ अ लॉन्ग वेव गाइड एंड साइड आर्म्स आर अटैच टू दिस वन यू विल सी दिस वन दीज आर वॉट कॉलिनियर आर्म्स एंड दिस इज अनदर जंक्शन दिस इज विल बी एच आर्म एंड दिस विल बी वट ई आर्म क्लियर तो पोर्ट नंबर वन एंड टू आर द कॉलिनियर आर्म्स वाइल द पोर्ट वाइल द न्यू वन पोर्ट नंबर थ्री इज कॉल्ड एज एच आर्म फ्रॉम दिस फिगर यू विल सी दैट दिस इज वन एंड टू कॉलिनियर आर्म्स दिस वन इज पोर्ट नंबर फोर इफ आई से दिस इज ई आर्म एंड दिस इज पोर्ट नंबर थ्री दैट इज एच आर्म क्लियर नाउ इट इज अ कम्बिनेशन ऑफ वट ई प्लेन टी एंड द एच प्लेन टी इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द मैजिक टी और हैब्रेड टी clear it is known as the magic t and hybridity why it is known as the magic t we will discuss why it is known as the magic t so it has two properties which i have already told that two waves of equal magnitude and same phase are fed into port number 1 and port number the output will be zero at number port number 4 because port number 4 is what e am clear in this slide we have discussed that the i have discussed that is p3 but in this this slide we have discussed e arm is what port number 4 and the next point is if the wave is fed into port number 3 it will be equally divided between port number 1 and port number 2 collinear arm it will not appear at port number 4 so this one is the another property that if i say if i provide the input to port number 3 to uh, to port number 3 If I am providing input to the port number three, then the output will be obtained at port number one and port number two. But there will be no output at port number three. Clear? Now see. So. now the third next property is the if a wave is fed into port number 4 now the wave is fed into the port number 4 that is e am it will produce an output of equal amplitude and opposite phase at port number 1 and port number 2 of collinear but the output at port number 3 will be zero it means that if i am providing the input to port number 3 sorry port number 4 in this i am providing input to this one so we will get the output at port number 1 and port number 2 of equal amplitude equal magnitude but of opposite phase and the output at port number 3 and that is h arm will be equal to 0 clear so if i say so it means i can say that the port number 4 is the input and output port number 3 is equal to what Zero. So S three four equal to zero, and similarly, from this one I can see that the S four three will be equal to zero. Now see, we will now we will determine that S matrix of the magic T. So since there are four ports, and you know that the S matrix is a square matrix, so matrix will be over four cross four. So S matrix will be defined as the S one one, S one two, S one three, S one four, S two one, S two two, S two three, S two four. This one is the S matrix. Now because of H plane T junction, I have already told you that scattering coefficient will be S two three equal to S three, S one three. Means if I am providing the input at, I have already told you from this and this from this property. you will see that the if input is provided at port number 
that is at what which arm h arm output will be obtained at what output will be at port number port number 1 and port number 2 clear of equal amplitude equal magnitude and same phase so it means the s23 will be equal to s13 now if i am providing the input at e plane t if i am providing an input at port number 4 that is e arm then output will be obtained at what port number 1 and port number 2 of equal magnitude but opposite opposite phase but same phase clear now see so it means then the s24 will be equal to minus of s13 s14 now see from this property and from this property i have told you s43 equal to 0 and s34 equal to 0 you know that the s34 equal to 0 and s43 equal to 0 now i have told you s23 equal to s13 s23 equal to s13 and s24 equal to minus of s24 clear so now see th this i am saying that the if port number 3 and port number 4 are perfectly matched then i can say the s33 equal to s44 equal to will be equal to 0 now see s23 will be equal to what s s32 so it means i can say it is also equal to what s32 and this will also equal to s13 is also will be equal to what s31 clear now from this property also you can see that the as you know the what is the property this property is what from the symmetric property you can say that the s24 equal to what s24 equal to what s s24 equal to what s42 and this minus s14 equal to what will be equal to what equal to what minus of s41 clear now see this this will be this from the symmetric property you know that the now use all these properties this one and this one and this one put all these values in this equation you will see that the s11 this all will be this will be the matrix now see assume that the it is a lossless network if i say the let network is lossless means there will be no loss it means that we will use the unitary property of the s matrix and the zero property unitary property means you can say s multiply by s conjugate that is equal to i on multiplying this equation s multiply by s12 it means if i say s conjugate equal to this one s11 s12 s13 s14 s12 s22 s13 conjugate of
प्लस में कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ एस वन थ्री एस वन थ्री जीरो 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 एस वन फोर कॉन्जुगेट माइनस ऑफ एस वन फोर न ऑन मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस वन मल्टीप्लाई रो वन मल्टीप्लाई में कॉलम वन ऑन मल्टीप्लाइंग रो वन एंड कॉलम वन यू विल सी डेट दस वन वन स्क्वेयर प्लस में एस वन टू का स्क्वेयर प्लस में एस वन थ्री स्क्वेयर प्लस एस वन फोर स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू विल बी वन नाउ फ्रॉम आर टू सी टू यू विल सी डेट दस वन टू का होल स्क्वेयर प्लस में एस टू टू का होल स्क्वेयर आर टू दिस आर टू मल्टीप्लाई में सी टू एस वन टू का स्क्वेयर प्लस में एस टू टू का स्क्वेयर प्लस एस वन थ्री स्क्वेयर प्लस एस वन फोर इक्वल टू एस वन स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू वन फ्रॉम आर थ्री सी थ्री and this will be equal to what identity matrix you i have not written here on multiplying r3 c3 we will get s13 ka square plus s13 is equal to 1 and r4 equal to r4 c4 equal to s114 ka square plus s14 ka square equal to 1 now see this one From this two equation, you can see that the S13 equal to one by root two and S14 equal to one by root two means S13 equal to one by root two. That means equal to S31 and this will be equal to S41. Clear? Now using these two equation, on equating these two equation, you will see that the S12 square, this one and this one, you will see the S11 square equal to S22. From these two equation, you can conclude that the S11 equal to S22. Clear? Now, see, or uh, I have got the value of S13. Uh, now see the multiplication of another columns. Now just uh, put the value of let's say S13. I have got the value of S13 and S114. Now put the value of S13 and S14 here. Put the value of S13 and S14 here. You will get S11 plus me S12 ka square plus me 1 by root 2 ka square. That is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 equal to 1. And put the value of S13 and S14 here. You will also get S22 ka square plus me S1 ka square equal to 1 by 2 plus me 1 by 2 equal to 1. You will see that the s one square plus s one two का square equal to zero, s two two का square plus s one two का square equal to zero. On comparing these two equation, you will get what? S one one equal to zero, equal to s two two that will be equal to zero. Clear? Because square of two, if I say the a square plus b square can only be zero when Both will be zero. This is the only condition, and when both will, that's why I can say that s one one ka square plus me s one two ka square equal to zero. Only in that condition when s one one equal to s one two equal to zero. Clear? So similarly, s two two will also be zero, and similarly I can say that s two one will also be zero. Clear? Now put this value of here. You will get this matrix. That is. This one, and from you can say that this means that port number one and port number two are also perfectly matched to the junction. Hence, in any phone port network, if any two ports are perfectly means perfectly matched to the junction, it means the remaining ports will also automatically match to the junction. And this is the magic, and that's why it is also known as the magic T. And the another magic is that if I am applying input to the If I am applying input to one of the arm of port number one, then output will not be appear at port another uh, port number two. Output will be appear at port number four, three and four. No output will be obtained at port number two. From this one, you can see that here. Now see this one. Use this. It means B equal to what? S. Equal to a, and this b is the output. As you get to me, a is the input. It means this one equal to b one, b two, 
बी थ्री बी फोर डेट इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो वन बाय रूट टू वन बाय रूट टू जीरो जीरो वन बाय रूट टू माइनस में वन बाय रूट टू वन बाय रूट टू वन बाय रूट टू वन टू माइनस ऑफ वन बाय रूट टू जीरो 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 Now see case number one. We will verify the if a three is equal to not equal to zero and rest a one, a two, a four are zero. It means if I am applying input only at a, a port number three, what will be the output? Well, what will be the output? You will see that the b one will be equal to what? V B one will will be equal to what? A three by root two, and B two will be equal will be equal to A three by root two, and B three is equal to zero, and B four will also be zero. Now the case number two. If A four is not equal to zero, rest A one. A one equal to A two equal to A three equal to zero. It means you will see here that if A four is not equal to zero, it means you will see that A four uh, B one will be equal to what? A four by root two and B two will be what? Minus of minus of A four by root two. Clear? Similarly, if I say case number three, if now in the case number three, if input is applied to any one of the any one of the port number one and two, it input is applied to to any one of the collinear arm of port number one or of magic T. It means a one equal to. Let's say if I say a one equal to A and rest a two, a four, a three are zero. It means you will see that the what a one equal to a, a two, a three. It means what you will see that b three will be equal to a upon me root two and b four will be equal to what a four a upon me root two. Now, if I am applying input at a rest a one a four a three equal to zero, you will see that b three equal to what a by root two and b four will be equal to minus of a by root two. Clear? So this is a numerical. If input is power power applied to the E arm of magic that is two feet from load. Find the output of power from the other arms when other ports are terminated by a matched arm. It means input is applied to A4, A4s. If input is applied to A4, rest A1, A2, A3 are zero. You will get what? B1 will be equal to what? What I have told you, B1 will be equal to what? A4 by root two and B2 will be equal to minus of A4 by root two. That means b1 equal to 250 by root 2, and b2 will be minus 250 by root 2, and b3, b4 will be zero. The book I have referred for preparing the slide that is micro devices and circuits by S M Liao, third edition. Thank you.